Developments today in the Cuyahoga County corruption case, and both could spell the end of freedom for former auditor Frank Russo. We brought it to you as breaking news live on 5. Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us live in the newsroom now with why prison is looming for Russo. Well, that's right, Lee. First, Russo's former top aide pled guilty to corruption charges today, and that marks the last defendant he agreed to testify against. Secondly, Federal prosecutors filed this motion seeking to reduce Russo's time behind bars. Russo's been a free man for two full years after cutting a plea deal and agreeing to testify against other corruption figures, including former Commissioner Jimmy DeMora. Now, today, Russo's former aide, Samir Mohammed, pled guilty to his own corruption charges, and Russo is now no longer needed by prosecutors. A former Cleveland businessman, uh, Sam Kaysen, also pled guilty today. So, now, Government prosecutors have asked a federal judge for a hearing to reduce Russo's sentence. Now, here's what that means. Instead of 22 years behind bars, Russo could get a reduction based on his degree of cooperation in cases where he testified against others. It's up to the judge to decide that. Russo's lawyers won't talk. And it's possible the whole hearing could be continued a few weeks so that Russo can prepare his case for a reduction. What that could be is only speculation, Lee, perhaps 14 to 16 years. Live in the newsroom, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Reed. It will be very interesting to see how all of this is finally resolved. Thanks, Ron.